Hi everyone, today I've got a very, very quick and simple in the hoop project for you. This is going to just be for me to keep in my car with a few coins in it for when I need some change for a car park. I found this little project on Creative Fabrica. I have had the download file for several weeks by the time you see this video and I can't remember if this is the only size. I, ha I have a feeling it's in different sizes. I just chose to make the smallest size. I think from memory it might be in four sizes, but I will pop information here on screen if what I'm telling you is wrong. I think I chose to make the smallest size because it fits in my four by four hoop. So for anybody that has an embroidery machine that only has a four by four hoop, this is a perfect little project for you. As I say, I'm going to keep it in my car with some loose change in it. I generally just keep it in the drinks well of my car or in a little plastic bag. But I just thought, you know, I'm a crafter. I can make something. And I came across this little project. So this, as I say, is going to have some coins in it just so when I need some change for the car park. It's made in fabric vinyl. I chose to use two colours and it fastens with a snap tab. It's Literally, it takes about a minute to stitch out and there are only four steps. It's so simple. So if you have an embroidery machine and you've not done any in the hoop projects, this little project is going to be perfect for you. I've obviously just stitched this out. So I'm just recording this to show you how it looks now when it's finished. But as I stitch this out, as you'll see in a few minutes, I've never stitched this before, so I've not practiced it. I've not done anything at all. I literally downloaded the file a few weeks ago onto a USB stick. It has a PDF instruction with it that's in the body of the information on Creative Fabrica. I read those instructions. They were so simple, and I just thought, right, I'm just going to dive in and record it as I make it. So... You know, this would be exactly the same for you. You would download the file and then you would work out how to make it. So this is what I'm showing you how to do. No practice at all involved. So if you want to know how I made this cute little snap tab pouch and you want the file, there will be links in the accompanying blog post here on my Apple Lover 53 website. So head over there, click on the blog tab, look for this picture, and all the information will be in the accompanying blog post. So I hope you like the project. Stick with me and I'll show you how I made it. Okay, so to save some time, I've already got the USB stick plugged into the side of my machine. Just for reference, I use a Brother Innovis V5LE, which I think is a similar machine to a machine possibly called the Essence 5200 or just the Brother 5200. I'm only saying that because I've seen somebody use that machine online and it looks more or less identical to mine and seems to have all the same features. So that will just give you an idea of what I'm using. I've got my 4x4 hoop already in the machine and I've got some tearaway stabiliser. This design I've never stitched before. The links to it are going to be on my blog so you can see my website address here on screen. If you go there, click on the blog tab and look for the photograph of this finished project. All the information where I got the stitch file from will be on there but it is a creative fabrica free file as part of my all access membership i've not stitched it so literally i'm doing this as you would once you've downloaded the file so this is completely you know from scratch start to finish as anybody would once they've got this file i'm just going to go to embroidery on my machine and I'm going to go to the USB stick and I'm going to find the file. Now this particular file comes in various sizes. I've chosen to use the one that will fit in my 4x4 hoop and I think I'm right in saying that because I downloaded this a week or so ago. If it only comes in this one size I'll just put a note here on the screen. So I've got the four by four hoop. 
I've got the design. I'm just going to turn you, I'm going to press embroidery edit to set that on the screen. And it says that the size is 3.57 by 3.20. So basically what I did, I measured the internal measurement from top to bottom and side to side of my four by four hoop. And I cut two pieces of faux leather or vinyl. This is sewing vinyl, not heat transfer vinyl. One to the size of the internal size of the hoop and one to about half the size. Okay, all the details will be in the PDF that goes with this cutting file. I would say though, if you're new to Creative Fabrica, when you download an embroidery file, I found from the ones I've downloaded so far, in the file you get all the sewing files, but you don't get written instructions. The written instructions are in the description of the item you're downloading. It usually says something like PDF or view PDF. Click on that, download it, and then I just drag them and put them in the file with all the stitch files so everything stays together. So I'm just zooming in on the area in the hope that you can see better. This only has four steps and it says it takes a minute. So this is the most simplest of in the hoop projects I think you could possibly start with. And again, this is why I'm doing it literally with you from start to finish. I'm going to put the foot down. I've got my machine loaded with white isocord thread. I've already got my bobbin, I think, installed in the machine. So I'm going to put the foot down, the light's going to turn green, and I'm going to stitch step one. Now you're probably not going to see that because I've stitched it in white on white stabilizer. But I think what I do now, I've not got the written instructions with me, but as I say, I read them about a week ago. So I'm doing this from memory, but I think this will be right. I'm gonna pop this piece of vinyl into the hoop, put the foot down and stitch step two. Okay, so you can see that better now. It does a kind of like a bean stitch. So now from memory, I think it says you need to stitch the placement marks to put the other piece of vinyl on, which is step three. So I'm gonna put the foot down and stitch step three. I'm going to take it out of the machine. I'm not sure if it's meant to make marks on both sides, but I'm gonna take it out of the machine because it says it's moved on to step four, which is the last step. So I'm going to bring it out of the machine. So this is what we've got so far. As I say, it's just stitched a little mark there, but I'm not sure it's meant to make one there as well or not. But anyway, it's fine. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm gonna put my little pad underneath it to give me some support. I can see where that line is. So I'm going to get a nice straight edge of my vinyl. Just see which one's the straightest. I think this one is. And I'm gonna position that just over where that placement line is. And obviously making sure that it covers the sides and the bottom. And then I'm gonna put a piece of tape down just to hold this in place. So I'm just gonna put some tape 
on the outside edges so I know it's not going to get stitched through in my stitching. And this should hopefully hold it in place and I've got my little pad underneath so that I know I can press down without popping this out of the hoop. So this now goes back in the hoop and it should stitch the final step. So I'm just checking underneath the hoop to make sure that that vinyl is still in place and it hasn't moved or anything. I'm going to put the foot down and I'm going to stitch the last step. And that's it finished how simple was that so I'm going to take it out of the hoop and then I need to trim around it and I need to put the snap tab on it which is the closure okay so this is what we've got and this is the back so I'm going to take the masking tape off we're just going to trim that thread and pop this out of the hoop just going to trim up those stitches and I'm going to pull this tear away out so that's what we've got so I'm going to turn it over to the right side I think because I think I can see that better and I'm going to trim around this now with a rotary cutter and a ruler so I'm going to try and trim quite close. So I'm going to line up. I'm not sure how well you'll see this, but there's a dashed line and a solid line. I'm going to put the dash line on the stitching and then I'm going to trim. Like so and cut all this away. I'm just going to turn it around and do its opposite side first. And if I keep that dash line on my ruler directly over my stitching, then hopefully I'll get a nice even border. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. And now just to do this angled top. So again, I'm going to line that dash line up on my stitching and cut. And cut so that's the little pouch and it folds over like so and it fastens with a snap so my little snap tool and decide what color snap I'm going to use on it and because I did this back section in a different shade this is how it's going to look when it's fastened you could do it all in one color it doesn't really matter and I can pull this stabilizer out from here but for now I'm just going to leave it so I'm just going to get these threads though because these couple of little threads are just going to get in the way so I want to make a hole in the middle here to put the fastener and then I'm going to need to make another hole to fasten this onto but I'm going to put this one in first so I'm going to put the point on a line on my mat just to help me and then I'm just going to see what color I think I'm going to use this green one I've not used these green ones I don't think so I want two of the prongs 
and then you need a male and a female. This hole's bigger than this one, if you can see, but it, it, it's obvious once you look at the snaps yourself. So I think I'm going to, let's just see, I'm going to put it about there. So let's line this back up again and I'm going to just punch a hole because you've got to think that the snap, you know, is the, the, you know, the width of your snap. So I'm thinking I'm going to punch a hole about here. So just going to punch a hole straight through like so. And just to give you an idea, because I don't think this bit is in the instructions. So I'll tell you roughly how that is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five eighths. Five eighths up. I've done it. So I'm going to pop that one through. I mean, what I could do if I wanted to is move, remove the stabilizer, but I can always pull it out afterwards. I'm going to get one of my little male or female counterparts. This little snap tool has like a black dish and that's where the bigger section goes. And I'm just going to clamp and then I'm going to press and I can see where the indentation is although I could until I moved it so let's just put this in place and press and I can see a circle there and I'm just going to punch a hole through the middle of that circle just through this front section you don't want to go all the way to the back then this prong goes from the inside out like so and then you put the other side on and then again you need to get your little clamp and push it inside so that that inside piece goes into that dish and not disturb the inside okay I can see it's going into the dish now and then I'm going to press again so I've got my two snaps on and it now snaps closed and opens so let's just so that's today's project as I say if you want to pull this out let me just where have I put my scissors you can get a pair you know a pair of scissors and just get in here because it is only tear away stabilizer that I've used and you can you know just pull it out just watch your stitches if you want to do that, obviously, before you put your snap on, it might be a little bit more sensible. But you can see, you know, it's doable if you put your snap on first. It comes out really easily. So I'm just going to tear this stabiliser out and just tidy this up a little bit. So there it is, all cleaned up, nicely cut at the same distance all the way around. The finished size of this one is three and one eighth by two and a half so three and one eighth by two and a half and that's just big enough to keep some loose change in you know the little door compartment of my car to keep some money in for a car park so that's today's project i hope you liked it as i say all the inform all the information relating to where you can get the free stitch file will be in the accompanying blog post here on my apple lover 53 website and if you are not a member of creative fabrica and you want to see what it's all about or you want to join there'll also be a link in the blog post as well that is like my kind of affiliate link so if you think that you will maybe want to join i would be so grateful if you would just use my affiliate link so that's it for today. I hope you like the project. As I say, this is a real, real beginner in the hoop project. So if you've got an embroidery machine and you've not tackled in the hoop before, this is a really good one to start with. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.